the name Shanquella Robinson mean anything to you? Absolutely. Because it means a lot to me. Good. Let's go, man. This beautiful young girl with her life ahead of her goes on a girls weekend with some friends and she never makes it back home alive. North Carolina woman. Prosecutors now say Robinson died as the result of a spinal injury sustained in a quote direct attack. You'll never hear me say for entertainment purposes only in one of these videos because I don't share them for your entertainment. I'm not entertained by death and the R word and racism, the other R word. I share this for awareness and I share some of the stories like this one I'm about to share now to get justice, to help these people have a bigger voice, a farther reach. I said that to say this, please don't just watch the video, share, 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 share. And that's not so I can become the next great TikToker. That's because as you will see in this next video, there are people out there that you don't even know that need you. All they need you to do is be their voice. That's what I do. Some of them are still here fighting and others have gone on. Anyway, let's get into this. Give me just a minute. It is truly heartbreaking. From the way this went down to the way it's still going down with no answers and it's all being spearheaded out of Mexico surrounding a tourist attraction. So she goes down to Cabo with some frenemies, who she actually, I assume, thought were friends. Six of them, seven in total, including Shanquella. Seemed to be going good, but somebody decided to fight her. However, I can't tell you that yet because nobody knew that right away, especially not her mother, who her friends called and lied to told her she was suffering from alcohol poisoning. They called a doctor in that sat allegedly for about three hours while she was declining, allowed her friends to refuse that she go to the hospital. A medical professional saw her declining like that. But then again, that's what the police report says. The autopsy said that she died about three o'clock, so there would have not have been a need for a medical professional to sit for three hours so hmm, who in the hell knows what's going on there the autopsy report also said she had spinal cord injury i'm not going to tell you everything because you're going to see it. big words not alcohol poisoning though that's easy to say mom is at home thinking alcohol poisoning she'll be okay but she's either dead or dying we don't know because the police report says dying, the autopsy says she was gone. So we know what happened, but we don't know why and we don't know who. But we got a few people lined up. Remember, there was seven in total. Six of them came back like it wasn't shit. I don't know why the Mexican authorities let them just walk away like that. Because in my opinion, based on everything I've already said to you, they were all complicit in her death. You don't know what the hell's going on. Mexico is doing their thing. And remember, this is Cabo. There's money to protect. That's a big deal. At the end of the day, like I said, all of them are complicit. So let's get it together. Mexican authorities, FBI, and everybody else, all the acronyms, figure this one out. This is horrible. It's a hot mess from beginning to end. And it really bothers me. This is irritating. Get this baby some justice. Let me share some clips. Quella was uh, 25 at the time of her death. So all the girls, young ladies go to a Mexican resort and it's a five star, it's a beautiful resort, but then Stunning video emerges. Her 
so-called friend. Nicole's mother and I both believe, because she sleeps without her clothes on, that she was woken up by the friend girls and some guy that was a friend as well, not a lover, a friend. Somebody was videoing all this. They get her out of bed. She's butt naked. And they start a fight with her. I can hardly stand to look at the fight <laughs> because... In the fight where they're beating her, one woman in particular, her head goes sideways. Tranquilla dies because of that injury. I've got her death certificate right here. Tranquilla's cause of death was severe spinal cord injury and atlas luxation, which is instability or excessive movement in the uppermost neck vertebrae. The death certificate also notes that just about 15 minutes passed between the time she was injured and her death. I spoke to her mother last hour. She said that was not the story she was originally told. And the friends who traveled with Robinson came to see her when they got back from the trip. They also told a different story. When they got a ride back to Charlotte, they came over to the house to visit and tell us what, what had happened. What was that conversation like? What did they tell you exactly? Well, they told us it was alcohol poison. And um, we... You know, question each one on because we had heard different. We had got a call saying that they was over there fighting her. It was no such thing as alcohol poison. So we started asking each one of them questions about the situation, and um, they um, denied and said there was never a fight. You know, it was alcohol poison. Who told you that there was a fight? Who had told you that? Well, it was someone called on the phone. We don't know who it was. They just called us and told us this, that they was over there fighting us. So the video had to be already out when they called to tell us that because they had seen the video and we yeah. hadn't seen it. That's how we learned that information. Now, now, CNN deliberately has not aired this video that, that appears to show your daughter being attacked. Uh, do you have any idea? Did anyone told, tell you who filmed that video? No, we have no idea. So when you ask the friends, you say you ask each of them individually, what happened? They all stuck to that story. They all stuck to the story. It was just alcohol. Yes. Remarkable. Such sad times for her mother. Shanquella's mom told us she is in touch now with the FBI, but the authorities in Mexico or the FBI have not told her the suspect's name or why that suspect has not been arrested yet. Procedures are underway to have the woman extradited from the U.S. to face charges. Wow. This article here from MetropolyMX.com says there's breaking news. And the article reads, Dejanae Jackson was placed in federal custody waiting for her to begin her extradition process to Mexico. During the night of November 28th, Dejanae Jackson was arrested by Interpol agents after a controlled judge issued an arrest warrant against her for the crime of femicide of Shanquella Robinson, murdered on October 29th in the Cabo Villas complex in this tourist destination. Dejanae Jackson was placed in federal custody, waiting for her to begin her extradition process to Mexico, where she will be formally accused of the femicide of the 25-year-old businesswoman. The extradition process will take between one and two weeks derived from the procedure that the state attorney general's office made in the attorney general's office of the Republic and this in turn to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Mexico. The attorney general's office of the state of Baja California, sir, managed to prove that the woman who appears in the video attacking Shanquella Robinson is precisely Dejanae Jackson, as Metropoly MX reported at the time. On the one hand, the U.S. government is going to take this seriously. And on the other hand, it's not obligated uh, to turn her over. And joining me right now is Irv Brandt, senior inspector. He's an expert, U.S. Marshal Service International Investigations, Chief Inspector, DOJ, Office of International Affairs. He's been a country attache for the U.S. So, Irv, let me bring everybody up to date quickly. The reason that she died was because of basically her neck getting broken. One of, along the lumbar spine, twisted, and her head basically is no longer attached to the rest of her spine. Yes. It's kind of like um, an internal decapitation. Damn, man. Where your head is no longer attached to your spine because of one of the blows. 
And Irv, you and I have looked at the video. It just it just makes me sick. To look at. So the girls, the friends that do this to her, and the friend man, the grown man, they all rush back to the states. Irv Brandt, why, why have they not been arrested and extradited back to Mexico? Okay, Nancy, I'm going to lay it out for you. Um, lay it out, Irv. This is speculation on my part, but it's speculation based on many years of experience with uh, international extraditions. Mm-hmm. Let's hear it. First of all, to extradite a crime within the treaty from one country to another, there has to be a common crime covered under the treaty. And you don't think murder me. would rise to that, Irv Brandt? I mean, well, listen, I like not, you a lot, but not. I don't like anything you're saying. Hmm. Yeah, I understand Let that. Let the man speak, um, Nancy. It's, it's complicated, uh, Nancy. Uh, give me a minute and I'll explain uh, it to you. Yeah, dub me down Thanks. for me because I'm just not that smart, Irv Brandt. Yeah, right. Now, help me out with with the exact verbiage of the crime. An uh, arrest warrant has been issued and extradition proceedings have begun in Mexico for the murder of 25... Murder it, of 25-year-old Shankola Robinson. It, it was... Yeah, a homicide. A, yes. Oh, femicide. When a fem- femicide. Yes. That, this, is, this is my point. This is what I'm getting to. Under the treaty, there's a list of crimes. You can't generalize... It has to be specific. You can't generalize this and say, oh, well, femicide is murder. No. No. It's what the crime is charged. If there is not, if that crime is not charged under the treaty, what Mexico has to do is reindict that charge and charge them with something that can be extradited under the treaty, like, let's say, murder. Now, I'm not saying that that's what happened. I'm saying I'm giving you a possibility and I'm giving you likely possibilities because over my years of experience in this, we go through this little song and dance all the time, especially when it came to capital crimes, murder crimes, sex crimes, drug crimes, money laundering crimes. Lots of countries don't have the titles of them and it has to be worked out. And sometimes that takes time. I posed to you the other day, we were off air, what the H-E-double-L is going on with Shinquilla's case. Why hasn't anything been done? The women all changed their cell phone numbers. They they cut off their cell phones. They moved from their apartment. Nobody can find them. Head or tail of them. As far as I know, that's never stopped a bounty hunter from finding the person. Since but- nearly everyone on the trip of Robinson has changed or disconnected their number, we hit the road trying to get in touch with them in person. No one was present at the first home in Jamestown. But as I rang the doorbell, I noticed a business card taped to the door. The Forsyth County Sheriff's Office declined to comment, citing an ongoing investigation. We had no luck in Winston-Salem at a home associated with another person on the trip. And after a 45-minute ride to another home in Greensboro, I was told the person who was on the trip no longer lives there. One of the hundreds of cases on the docket in the Gaston County Court Thursday morning belonged to one of the people who went on the trip with Shinquilla Robinson. He pleaded guilty to a minor speeding charge, only having to pay $15 plus court fees. Our hope was to talk to him after the case, but he wasn't here. Prosecutors in Mexico are trying to extradite one of Robinson's friends. I think they should get all of them, by the way. Have you seen this video, Irv? They're all like a pack of jackals yelping and begging. If it would have been done in the U.S., you know and I know all of them. Oh, heck yeah. All of them, including the one, the videographer, so to speak. Oh, H-E-double-L, yes. The Attorney General for Baja California, sir, told media that an arrest warrant was issued for the crime of femicide, the killing of a woman because of her gender. But you told me, off air, Irv Brand, you said, I've done a million of these. I guarantee you, it's Mexico. It ain't us. 100%. Explain why you said that, because I hadn't thought of it that way. I have been three inches up these people's tailpipes where these women, we think, are hiding. Three inches, calling, 
emailing. Why aren't you making an arrest? Why aren't you doing extradition? And when you said that, it all crystallized. <laughs> it's not us. Three I'm inches. betting it's not us. I agree with you. But it's Mexico. When do we ever get a darn thing out of Mexico? Nothing. So basically, once Mexico it issues the arrest warrant, they're like, hey, it's on the U.S. Unlike Mexico and other Latin American countries, the U.S. does not have a law recognizing Femicide is any different from homicide. And it doesn't mean that the killings are not deemed a homicide. But in the paperwork application, Mexico needs to charge it not as femicide, but as murder, straight out murder. So we can. These are Americans, you know, and they're gone. And they have issued a warrant. They haven't issued a red notice. They have issued the What's war. a red notice? It's an international law. No, they don't care. So the only one that cares, basically, well, is they they don't care. them. Yes, you are. It's just not. It's just not a high priority. And what That's I that's the do, same thing. And I find it very hard to believe that North Carolina authorities are not trying to find these people. But the issue you believe is the extradition papers from Mexico. What can we do, right, to get justice for Shanquilla? I mean. I don't know what we can do. I, I am confident. Well, it's the pressure, Nancy. It's just the pressure of you keeping it on the front sure, sure, so sure. Irv, Can you give it to me in a bullet? Hit me. What yes. can we do? What can be done? I mean, the governor, God bless him, is saying, gee, I hope it all turns out okay. Right. We need a little bit more than well wishes. Short for Grant. Yes. The United States cannot arrest on a foreign government's arrest warrant. Hands are tied. The United States can only arrest on an extradition warrant issued out of U.S. District Court. Okay. Until, until the Mexican government does that, the U.S. cannot do the anything. The U.S. State Department number, if you want your voice to be heard, is 888-407-4747. We want justice for Shanquilla. We just waiting for someone to be arrested. I just sit back and wait on God, because like I say, she's going to get justice. If you know Quilla, she always get away. So she's going to get justice, so I'm That's not right. worried about that. Right. Um, I'm more so disappointed that she was around people that she thought were her friends. Shanquilla's mother had spoken with her daughter the day before she died and said she sounded happy. She was laughing and talking and said a chef was getting ready to cook them some tacos. Mm. And um, I said, well, okay. Enjoy yourself. Love you. I will talk to you tomorrow. And I never spoke with her again. Robinson's family wants answers. See you in the comments. Beautiful people.